On this week's episode of Fishing 411 TV, Jake and Mark Romanak are rolling down the highway on a detour to salmon fishing action. The Detour Passage, located in the lower St. Mary's River, is one of the best places in the Great Lakes to target Atlantic salmon. Thanks to an aggressive stocking program provided by the Lake Superior State University Aquatic Research Laboratory and the Michigan DNR, impressive numbers of Atlantic salmon crowd into this natural pinch point in early summer. Mark and Jake put on a literal salmon fishing clinic, showcasing how to best use trolling spoons, lead core line, and inline planer boards to catch the most elusive salmon in the Great Lakes. Hey Dad, this slide diver yeah. was only 25 back, so he is right at the back of the boat. Yeah, well I ain't got a net ready, so be, be patient. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Not ready. There he is, he's ready for you now. You ready? Close. And scoop him. Got him. <laughs> hey, look at got that. Got him in the scoop. There you go, man. <laughs> I think the cat's out of the bag. We're after Atlantic salmon and we're in the Detour Passage. What a cool species of fish. You gotta wake up early. They're just like any salmon. And uh, when you see that diver just ripping on an early morning, I still got a lot of sleep in my eyes. But we got an Atlantic, man. What a pretty fish. Well, this week's episode is set in a place called Detour Passage. And if you're not familiar with Detour Passage, it's located at the extreme eastern end of the Upper Peninsula. It's where the St. Mary's River pours into northern Lake Huron. Nice fish, outside board. Yes! Woo -hoo -hoo. We are hooked up again. You know, the neat thing about Atlantic salmon is there's a great story associated with these fish. Not only are they a great eating fish and uh, an exciting fish to catch, but they are also one of the more difficult fish in the Great Lakes to stock. And, uh, and that's basically what we're dealing with here is we're, de we're dealing with a hatchery program. And not only does the Michigan Department of Natural Resources get involved in stocking these fish, but the college kids up at Lake Superior State, they're involved and they're raising fish as well. Their aquaculture program is considered to be state of the art here in the United States. They have an effective, successful, oh, he's jumping back there. They have a successful Atlantic salmon program, second to none. And, uh, and they've created a unique fishery up here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan that is just amazing, just amazing. Whoo, baby, please stay buckled up. These are such beautiful fish. Whoo. Well, Atlantic salmon are different. You know, everyone thinks about salmon in the Great Lakes, of course, they think of Pacific salmon, things like coho and king salmon. And Atlantic salmon are a completely different species. Their life cycle is different. Uh, their eating habits are different. Everything about them is different. The one thing, though, that is pretty similar to Pacific salmon is these fish like to chew early in the day, low light. So if you're gonna target them, you need to be out early and you need to be out late. So you're gonna see a lot of sunrises and you're gonna see a lot of sunsets if you target Atlantic salmon. And that was a high fish too, right? That was a three color? This is a three color leg core with a spoon on it. It's a mini streak made by Wolverine Tackle. And it's only fishing down about 15 feet, maybe 10 feet. And uh, so yeah, this fish was right on the surface. Pop that board off there. You know, one of the things about Atlantic salmon that we're seeing in a hurry is they like to swim right at the boat. And almost to the point where you think that that fish came off and so you really have to reel to keep up. And as soon as they see the boat, they don't like that. Just like this right here, now he's screaming. And you get to see him jump 
And uh, and they do fight really good, but every once in a while they'll just start swimming right at the boat. You gotta reel like crazy just to keep up with them. This has kind of been a milestone for us for a long time. We've known about the Atlantic Salmon Program up here in the Upper Peninsula for a long time, but we've just never made it up here to capitalize on it. And uh, timing was right, the opportunity was right, and right now, the fishing is right. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh my goodness, Dad, what a beautiful fish. <laughs> lift up, go ahead and lift up. Oh, he's all off. Swinging a fish. He's in the diver, er, oh, down right there. Okay, he's, he's, he's still there, he's still there. Whew. My heart is pounding, what a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish, and it's typical of Atlantic salmon. Fish right as soon as he saw the boat, he went crazy. He did not like that. He went crazy. So about the time you think you own them, you do not own them. Special considerations provided by Eagle Claw, the only fish hooks made in America. Additional considerations provided by Fishhawk Electronics. Trolling without a fishhawk is called boating. There he goes again. There he goes. How many again. times has that leg cord gone back out? That's the third time now. So let's see if we can't get him to, to tire up a little bit here. Doesn't really get much better than this. Awesome that sunrise cool. coming over Drummond Island. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This fish is not about to give up. What a beautiful fish, Dad. A little more. That is a gorgeous fish. I'm shaking at the knees for you, Dad. Yeah, I'll tell you what. What a fish. Okay, let's see if we can get him this time. Got him in the scoop, Dad. Wow! Oh, beautiful. Beautiful Atlanta. Wow. More. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you this fish. This is one of the coolest fish I've ever caught in my life. I'm telling you, this is a cool fish. Jake, what a stud. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa. My word. That big old cape on him. Woo. Now that is a fish that you will remember. If you come to Detour Passage and you catch a salmon like this, you will absolutely remember it. Woo, baby. That's special. That is special. And we're going we're to talk more in this episode about the stocking program and everything also, but you see this is just a gorgeous fish and you see that pectoral fin is clipped. And if you do a little bit of research, you can really figure out you know, how old this fish is because they're changing the fin clips based on the time of the year and based on when these fish are stocked. So this is obviously a giant fish. We want to put them on the scale and get an idea of how big this fish really is, but uh, unbelievable, Dad. Beautiful fish. Well, I finally caught my breath. Let's take a second and talk about what just happened. That fish actually hit a three color. It was our outside board on a mini streak spoon. So it's our furthest outside line. So we knew it was a good fish because it jumped, and that's indicative of Atlantic. They love to jump. So we saw the fish, we knew it was a good fish, but at that distance, we didn't know how good it was. Before it was all said and done, that fish came into the boat, actually took out Jake's downrigger on the opposite side of the boat, and took out his diver on the opposite side of the boat. And somewhere by the grace of God, we still managed to get that fish back to the boat three times before we finally got a net under it and scooped it. Personally, it's the best Atlantic salmon I've ever caught. I don't know if I'll ever catch another one quite that big, but man, what a thrill. Detour Passage, Michigan's Upper Peninsula. It's another three color fish, so another high fish. So these fish that we've, uh, that we've been catching so far today have been high. And you know, we've done a lot of research with Atlantic salmon. And of course they're like any salmon, so they're looking for that temperature, that 50, 55 degree range. You gotta remember this is basically influenced straight from Lake Superior. So we got a lot of cold water coming in, and this is the furthest northern part of Lake Huron. And so even though it's the summertime, this water's still really cold. And so these fish really can be anywhere. They can be right on the surface or they can be deep. And so right now, I think our deepest line that we have out is only 40 feet. So when you're looking at open water salmon fishing, that's very reachable. Those fish are reachable with a lot of different tactics, a lot of different things. Uh, so your downriggers and your divers, and of course your lug cores will be able to get to those depths, no problem. And you don't have to fish those long, long lug cores makes it a lot easier. Like this is an SG27LC, literally a walleye reel with a three color leg core on it. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, I'm about to help Jake get his board off here. And as it comes up, you're gonna notice that it's only attached just at the back. I'm gonna take this board off really quick. 
There you go, Jake. And essentially what we've got is an inline planer board here. Of course, this is the offshore OR12. The beauty of this is it allows us to take this lead core and run it way out to the side. And we can stack multiples, two, and mean in some cases three boards out to the side. That gets us out to the side, the lead core gets us down. Almost to the leader. Oh, he's a jumper! That's, That's so cool. exciting. That's exciting. There's that silver streak just pegged in the corner. I love it. You're on a good course, keep them coming just the way you are, Jakers. That is so cool. Woo! Just when you think you got them, you don't got them. Wow, is this is fish so much fun. I think we got them this time here. A little closer. I got you in the oh, net, that spoon Dad. just popped. Look at oh that. man, that spoon just popped. You know, when you start the show with a fish as big as we started, then they all look small. But this is really what we're after. This is that, you know, that football size, that six to eight pound range. And that's what this area is really known for, is just big, beautiful, healthy Atlantics. Um, not necessarily monsters like the ones that we caught right away this morning, but um, man, they more mimic a brown trout than anything. They're thick in the shoulders like a football, and they don't give up. Just when you think you got them, they see that boat, and they go the other way, and they're jumping, and it's absolutely awesome. And just look how beautiful that fish is. Atlantic salmon are closely related to brown trout, and they're commonly misidentified because they look a lot like brown trout. The difference is, is that brown trout tend to have big spots, and the spots are throughout the body of the fish. Atlantics have little dots or X's, and they tend to be on the upper half of the fish. Also, if you look at the head, the Atlantic has got much more streamlined torpedo-shaped head, and the kite is, is considerably different as well. Special considerations provided by Daiwa Corporation and Motor Guide. Fight fish, not your trolling motor. Special considerations provided by the Ultimate Sport Show Tour, Michigan's elite sport shows. Eagle Claw presents the 411 on fishing. You know, at Fishing 411, we fish year round. And in a typical year, we spend more time on the highway with our boats and trailers than the average fisherman might do in two or three or four seasons. But it gets worse than that because we're not just on the blacktop. A lot of times, the best fishing spots for us are places that you have to be on dirt roads or county roads in order to access those great fisheries. All of that highway time is very abusive to our trailer, but we found a product that really helps out. It's made by Trailmaster and it's called Trail Guard. Now, Trail Guard is a spray on rubberized coating that goes on the trailer, very similar to what you would associate with a bed liner material in a pickup truck. The beauty of Trail Guard is this stuff is super tough. Problems like stone chips are immediately eliminated. You don't have to worry about rust either because it encapsulates the entire trailer and stops corrosion in its tracks. I take great pride in my boat motors and trailers, and one of the nice things about Trail Guard, it's an accessory you can add to your trailer that's gonna make your trailer look brand new the day you buy it and many years down the road. Keep oh. him buckled up, buddy. Keep him buckled up. Wow, is that so much fun. It's all yours, Jake. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish. Just like that, Jake, keep him coming, keep right? him coming. Here we go, scoop him down. He's in the scoop, man, that's nice the way to fish. do it. You own nice him right fish. from the get-go. Chunky little football, man. Oh, yeah, chunky is right. And as fast as that board went back, man, these fish are so much fun. And you can see right here that this has a left pectoral fin clip. And one of the really cool things about this fishery is because it's from LSSU and these college kids are doing this fishery, they're doing a really good job of managing it to the point of where I can actually go online and I can see what year this fish was stocked to give you an idea of the size of the fish and how fast they're growing. And so they're kind of stocking these fish around, uh, you know, around Lake Huron right now, but by far this has become the best fishery right here. And uh, it's just really cool to see that. They seem to be showing up in places that we never expect them to show up. And we're gonna catch them while they're here. Well, we can talk a little bit about the spoons that we're catching these fish on. And we need to identify two things. We need to first identify about the size. Atlantics tend to be smaller, and so you're gonna run a smaller size spoon. So a standard spoon or a mini spoon is gonna be one of your better choices. So you're gonna emphasize smaller spoons than maybe you would for king salmon fishing. The other thing is color. 
When we talk about king salmon, we're using things like green and chartreuse an awful lot. Um, that's our primary colors, but Atlantic's like things a little more gaudy, so you're going to go to colors like pinks, and you're also going to use things like oranges. Those are going to catch you more fish. So the colors that Atlantic's prefer are different, and the sizes of the spoons that they prefer are also different. Pretty much everything is fired today. Uh, we've had multiple fish on our Lycor rigs. We've had multiple bites on our divers. Uh, we've caught fish on the downriggers as well. So everything has fired today, which is an indication of a good bite. That's what we like to see. We got the depth dialed in. Everything is in the top 40 feet. And, uh, and now that we know that, we got a lot of gear in the most productive zones. A little more. There we go. Got him in the scoop. Nice fish, Dad. Spectacular. You know, earlier today we talked about oranges being very productive, um, and that's definitely been the go-to for us today. Um, every spoon that's fired today has at least had some orange on it, uh, no question about it. And again, this one here happens to be a mini streak. The smaller spoons have been more productive today than the standard size spoons. Wow, another beautiful Atlantic. The colors, I don't know if I'm hoping it shows on camera as good as it does in real life, but that green back when it's coming through the water is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So he's got a lamprey scar on him. Yep. There's still a lot of lampreys in the system here. Looks like there's another, another one on the back there. too. But uh, he's been a survivor, so. He ain't oh, surviving baby. no more. He's gonna be a sandwich style. These things are so good. Oh, they are good eating. I'd high five you, but your hands are a little full right now. So man, oh man. Absolutely, what a beautiful fish. Special considerations provided by Trailmaster Boat Trailers and Lakeside Motorsports. Special considerations provided by Procure, ruthlessly effective bait stunts. We are hooked up. Oh my goodness. Jaker, this one's on the rigger, so he's gonna get here quick, man. I'm gonna grab the net really quick. Woo. Look at this, we got freighters we coming got by. We got freighters, we got Atlantics, we got fish, man. That is so cool. Woo. Man, that rigger popped and we are up on that thing so quick. Being that I was on that slider, he came up fairly quick, but this is a nice fish. Let me see if I can get him to you. There we go, there we go. Got him right. in the scoop. Nice fish. Nice fish. I am so tickled by that. Woo. Well, let's put some stuff down and grab us a fish. Look at this, man. We got Atlantics and we got freighters. <laughs> that freighter brought us some good luck. That is so cool. <laughs> This one hit on the rigger and he hit on the stacker, which means it was the higher spoon. And we saw the fish actually come out of the water before we saw the rod bucking. And uh, man, I tell you, it all happened in a hurry. That's the fastest one we've got in the boat, but it's a beautiful fish. That's right up there is one of the more pretty ones today too, Dad. I mean, the real deep spots on that fish. No kidding, no and, uh, kidding. The cool thing about these is like, not one is alike. Everyone's just a little bit different. No, that's true, that is true. One of the other things to keep in mind about Atlantic salmon is they're considered to be one of the best eating salmon. And we actually had them for dinner while we were up here, and I have to agree, they are outstanding. The flesh is very firm and very, very flavorful. They are a great eating salmon if you like salmon. If you want to target Atlantic salmon here in Northern Lake Huron in the Detour Passage, you're looking at the last two weeks of June would be prime time. It's a short window, the fish stage here, and then during the summertime when it gets closer to spawning, they move up the St. Mary's River where they spawn all the way up to the powerhouse, which is as far as they can go upstream. So to catch them in open water like what we demonstrated, you're gonna to wanna to be here the last two weeks of June. There's fish. Five color fires. Woo! We might have to back off on the throttle there a little bit, Jake. We'll see. I guess I'm getting some ground. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're kind of right quartering it, so I'm gonna try to stay going, going fast. 
One of the things that's been a blessing for us is, you know, we caught some fish early in low light, and that was definitely a blessing. But the wind has picked up a little bit here, and that's a blessing too, because now a chop on the water, that diffuses the light and keeps this bite going later in the day. A lot of times these fish just shut off during the middle of the day and you're just wasting your time, but we've had steady action as a, as a result of the fact that we've got a little chop on the water. That's a beautiful thing. If you don't know where Detour Village is or the Detour Passage, it's the extreme eastern end of the Upper Peninsula. And the passage is actually between the mainland of the Upper Peninsula and Drummond Island. That's the waterway that goes between it, the St. Mary's River. And uh, it's kind of one of those areas that's pretty quiet. You don't see a lot of people around here. And in fact, you know, there's just a couple of fishing boats here that we've seen since we've been here. So it's one of these areas that hasn't been discovered, but I'm telling you what, it's got some world-class fishing opportunities, particularly if you're willing to put in the effort to catch an unusual species like the Atlantic salmon. It kind of seems like to me that if you're dodging a boat, it's pretty much been a freighter today. Yeah, we, <laughs> lots we have and lots dodged of freighters. more freighters than we have fishing boats. <laughs> oh yeah, Dad, what a beautiful fish. A little closer. Got him in the scoop, Dad. Beautiful fish. Ooh, Off the spoon the just popped out of his mouth. Wow, what another awesome Atlantic salmon. I mean, we just had a tremendous day of fishing today. My name is Mark Romanak. You've been watching Fishing 401. If you get a chance, check out Detour Passage. It's got a unique type of fishery that I think you're going to enjoy. Closed captioning provided by Lakeside Motorsports, Michigan's premier marine and power sports dealer. Fishing 411 is brought to you by Offshore Tackle Company, Evan Rood Outboards, Starcraft Marine, Cisco Fishing Systems, Yakima Bait, Jay's Sporting Goods, Niagara Falls, USA, Smooth Move Seats, Lawrence Electronics, and by Precision Trolling Data.